Hi guys, I'm here with Steve Akiev, smart bird feeder with a camera and the very special thing here is that it's a super stylish bird feeder. I've never seen such a beautiful smart bird feeder. So this could be a great gift for Christmas, birthday, whatsoever. It doesn't come with an included solar panel, but there's still the option to attach a solar panel to charge it, but it has a rechargeable battery built in so really interesting one so i'm going to take it out of the box show you what to get how to connect it to the free app and then i'm going to show you some live footage so you can see how good the quality really is and so here's the box with a little bit of description on the side so it comes with an ai bird recognition it's easy to clean also something really important and we have full HD 1080p okay and so here we go and so here we have the camera we have the USB-C standard charging port in the back and so let's remove the protection here on the side the accessories really nice also very stylish mounting bracket and the strap which you can use to wrap around a small tree or a pole to secure it and then the rest of the mount standard USB-A to USB-C charging cable and some screws and then here we have the full transparent beautiful housing I've never seen such a beautiful stylish housing for a bird feeder same thing with the roof comes even with a fancy keychain and some information Q&A and the full instructions manual by the way the model is the VKG1 and so we get a lot of information here how to install how to set it up and then a very clean and also very stylish tray for the seats what's important that we have these holes here so the water can flow away yeah, i would say one of the best designs i've ever seen i've seen so many other bird feeders with super fancy trays which were very difficult to clean collected a lot of water then get very dirty so this much better here and then of course it's highly recommended to give a full charge to the camera and it's not just normal charge you can hear as soon as you plug it in there is some really nice fancy bird sound the main part of the housing is already pre-assembled but you can also remove this inner part so you can just pull it to the front and then pull it fully out that's also really good for cleaning and then you have also full access to the opening which you can use to add a solar panel also a really nice opening for the bird seats and the roof comes simply here on top no screws needed nothing very simple and easy and then we mount the base plate at the bottom and for that we need the four black screws and then we secure it with the included allen wrench so later we can mount this on a wall or on a tree and then just put the bird feeder on top of it and secure it here with this screw so for the moment we are going without the solar so we put this back we also put this back and now it's time to scan the QR code in the instructions and download the free app so we can download it from the official Apple Store or Android Play Store so let's open that and see if you're using it for the first time you have to sign up so that was super easy they sent an email which i had to confirm and then go back to the app and then log in with the existing password of course to connect we have to connect the bird feeder or at least turn it on i think it's perfect to have it just on charge and leave it in the off position by the way there's also a reset button here in case of a problem or if you want to add it to another account and then it's blinking red and green usually it's red but sometimes it's also showing green so i think alternately blinking red and green are perfect for connecting so we click on the plus click on next now we have to select an existing 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi it's highly recommended to not use vpn at this moment and also highly recommended to be already connected to the same 2.4 g wi-fi which you want to use later for the bird feeder but of course after that you can connect to any kind of wi-fi or 3g 4g 5g whatsoever it's just to connect so i've selected my main wi-fi here also a combined 2.4 and 5g network will work and then we enter the password of the wi-fi router 
of course I have to blur this information here a little bit so we click on next and then we remove the protection from the camera so we can scan the QR code so we put this QR code in front of the camera and now the bird beeping has stopped and it says it's connecting I think it says good connection let's click on next everything seems to be fine let's enjoy the viewing and so we have it live we click on live view now let's see yeah we have this picture here of course it has a little bit of a delay that's normal for a battery operated camera absolutely nothing to worry doesn't have to be a real time it's a bird feeder just what you have to know when you unplug it of course it will stop working because now it's in the off position and we need to put it in the on position we can use the allen key for that and so you can see in the on position it works also without the charging cable just from the battery which is built in and when the battery is fully charged we can put the camera just inside nothing to screw very easy so we can grab it at any time put it on charge and put it back and so we put the roof on top just make sure that it's snapping in and then make sure that you push up the camera with the mount to the top so we have enough space for the tray and so we just push down the tray here so it has a solid hold and everything is finished and so we can go outside mount this bracket put the bird feeder on top and we are ready and so I've installed the bird feeder outside was definitely super easy just took me about five minutes absolutely no problem and as you can see it is an absolute beauty of a bird feeder never seen such a beautiful one before and uh, the mount I mean everything is good you have to just to know two things you can see the screw here it's a little bit tight so if you mount it like that on a wall could be a little bit tricky to feed the bird seeds inside from the back but you can also feed it from the front or you just mount it on a pole somewhere where the space is not blocked behind the bird feeder and then it's absolutely no problem but I actually never fill the bird feeders from behind I just put a little bit from the front and so we are here in the live view you can see there's a blue J here and I've clicked on identify and you can see it definitely has identified this bird as a blue J absolutely correct and of course we have also some other birds here let's click on checking see what it means yes yeah, waxing I mean I'm not a bird expert I have no clue if this is correct but at least it has found something so let's click again and try to double check what it finds of course it's a little bit difficult in this situation probably and now it has detected or it's saying it's another bird so I guess it's not too easy to identify when the birds are moving of course now because the bird has been flying away it can't identify but still it's very interesting and also here for the squirrel of course I think it's not intended to identify squirrels and uh, squirrels are not uh, too difficult to identify so I'm definitely not complaining about that and so in the meantime I've been catching some nice footage a lot of videos of course these are all manually taken pictures there's no automatic mode or so but I have some really nice shots you can see by the way to return we can click on the image again then we get to the overview also some nice squirrel images and not only images by the way you can also switch here between photos and videos here on top and so you can see I have also some nice videos recorded here from the video we can use the back button we have also a share option so you can add the footage from here photos or videos so you can mark even a couple of them and share with other people add even some text and then post them online on any app which you have already on your smartphone and then we have some settings user settings birdhouse management we can share the device with some other people when we click here on the right side we can use the share button then enter an ID of a person which has already 
this app or you can check the footage from other people who are sharing with you. So we have some cool features. Of course, not everything. We don't have micro SD card, but we should get more features in the future. Definitely some cloud storage. I don't know if there will be some motion detection in the future. Also really nice photo and video quality. And they are definitely working on these features. So if you don't need all these options at the moment and just want to have the most fancy bird feeder which is available at this time maybe as a great gift or so and you can wait for a little bit for more features to come then just go and get it and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time